internet. I uh, got the high-speed internet or internet recently uh, and have had just an awakening that you can't get in the newspaper. I woke up, I was in the 12th grade in 2006 and uh, I was just starting to develop a lot of questions a lot of things around me, like why are the police so brutal to the people around me? Why do we have so much drugs around here? And uh, a friend gave me a book by William Cooper, The Behold the Pale Horse. And I started reading about the Iran Contra and how the US government brings in crack to the communities. And, um, and my cousin, I found out my cousin had a radio show called Revolutionary Radio in Tampa. And he covered everything about the New World Order. And uh, I watched the news change and just started getting aware. I had a friend at work that was uh, kind of anti-income tax and gave me a copy of uh, Aaron Russo's film, American Freedom of Fascism. Okay. And uh, watched that and I was kind of blown away. Started doing some research into that. Um, then uh, I got a copy of Ed Griffin's book, uh, The uh, Creatures of Jekyll Island. Read that and that kind of plays into the whole New World Order aspect. Just started doing more and more research, reading more and more books. Uh, Behold a Pale Horse by William Cooper was excellent. Um, that highlights a lot. Read a lot of books, uh, saw a lot of videos, got involved with 9-11 Truth, and, uh, because that's obviously a false flag, as you just stated. So, uh, yeah, just a little bit at a time, you know. How did you wake up? Um, I think it was in uh, December of 2008. I was working out there in Austin, Texas. Driving down Highway 1. I just seen a little cardboard sign off the side of the highway that says, this is to Alex Jones from the 90.1. <laughs> and me being the, the, the curious George that I am, you know, I always tune into double WOAI, trying to listen to Glenn Beck, trying to listen to, you know, Mark Levin and all these people. I hear rants and I hear some kind of friction. I know something's up. My intuition is telling me, man, I gotta, you know, look into things for myself. And uh, sure enough, I started listening to Alex Jones. And all my coworkers started saying I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying, don't believe the hype. And to me, it just kind of put two and two together. It kicked open the door, you know, because I always felt something wrong, but, you know, I, didn't, I couldn't put my fingers on it. It's just more of the spiritual thing, you know. But then I had evidence. He started to be consistent, showing documentations, articles, and, you know, he classified evidence, which, which was something that I felt would be meaningful for those that needed that evidence to believe, you know, and for to see for themselves. You know, What's going on today is real. There's a major transformation going on, this, not only in this country, but around the world. And really, everybody needs to take the time out to investigate 9-11 and, you know, see for themselves and let their, let their heart, you know, see for themselves instead of just going along with what people say, going along with the sheeple. You know? How did I wake up? Yeah, I okay, never wait, woke, wait, I how never, did you wake up? I never up? woke up. I always, I always knew since the first day it happened. Because, um, I saw it happening on TV and then, um, it didn't make sense to me that three days before I was watching uh, Discovery Channel about all the money invested in NORAD for these countries for North American safety, and that money seemed like it was uh, misspended. It was that it wasn't used in a good way because all the security that they use, all the money that is used for that, didn't work. So it was either to me. I thought at that at the same moment I thought it's either they allowed it to happen. Well, they did them themselves. Yes. I mean, it, it, there was Absolutely. no other explanation since that happened because I was watching that they had technology to spot uh, uh, meteors coming to Earth from millions of miles away. So weren't they going to have the technology to spot an airplane that had been missing for two hours? So I told all the people, they thought I was a conspiracy theorist. That didn't, they didn't even speak good English at that time. They didn't even know what that meant. It just didn't go along with what other people thought, you know. And uh, another thing I learned about this country is that this country likes a lot of wars, and they always look for motivation, you know, for any excuse to make a war. And after that, it didn't take too long to find out that they were going to take over Iraq. So everything fell in place. Um, what woke me up was um, watching 9/11 uh, live that morning, and. Um, the news non-stop I was watching it and then they're like they have footage and this, this is them over there celebrating that we got attacked and it showed them happy like having a good time like a blast party and they're like they're happy we got attacked and, I was, and this was fresh right after the attacks before the buildings even fell and I was like how do they have cameras news cameras there recording them live 
via satellite, feeding it over here just like that. Well, this ain't right, this ain't right. Live feed like that, like boom, this is them over there. No, I was like, no, it's not suspicious. Looked online, ABC News retracted, I'm sorry. That was footage of some Palestinians celebrating five years ago. That was them celebrating the holiday. And I was like, what? I'm like, why do they, they're trying to manipulate? I was like, no, nah, something's not right. It came up across 9-11 uh, uh, Road to Tyranny, the, the emergency one when they came out that weekend or whatever. And I stuck with it. I woke up. Kind of funny woken up. Uh, it was a whole uh, Carrie Bush uh, runoff. Um, fortunately, I threw my vote away for a Carrie. And the uh, very next month, I found out that they were cousins, uh, part of the same fraternity. Totally pissed off. Um, and I was thanks to AJ's uh, American Dictator, so that was, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> But, uh, and then someone uh, played uh, Road to Tyranny on uh, public access. And that, uh, you brought the chemtrails, brought up the uh, law. Yeah. Uh, and that was all 2004, beginning of 2005. And then uh, met Matthew uh, 2007 on Paul campaign. So he's been learning about economics and constitution and uh, exposing uh, people that are trying to lie to us and take our freedom away. How did you wake up? <laughs> <laughs> several stages, but um, like, I already knew about secret well, societies and fraternities, so. secret orders, really since so I was little. Really I know, you know, some, somewhere in the age range between 12 and 14, I started figuring all of that out. Um, but when 9/11 happened, it was obvious to me that that the building fell really quickly and it, it was long, you know, and I, I wasn't sure, I was no person to tell you what controlled demolition means or not at the time, but it didn't look like anything that would fall from a plane crash. So after that, then um, I saw the thing with Bush sitting in the classroom reading the book after they told him what was up and how he just sits there and it wasn't, it was like, you know, I know what's going on, this isn't a national emergency. I mean, he really didn't attempt to get up and do anything, he didn't freak out, it, it, his eyes didn't even change, it, it, it was too weird to me and I knew all along that he was involved you know and not the only one but just through the society so the new world order is a concept that slowly came into view and and this would take way too long to tell you all the other things <laughs> that you wake up. Start with that. How did you wake up? Rosie O'Donnell woke me up. <laughs> He's like for real. <laughs> she she said she was on the I woke up in the morning and my wife had her on the view and she said uh, and I heard Rosie O'Donnell son someone needs to do an investigation into 911. Uh, that looked like, uh, you know, like someone needs to do an investigation. And, and I told my wife, and I got mad. I said, she's not letting the, the 911 victims rest and, and, and get, get on with their lives. She's not letting our country repair and the economy get better because they keep bringing that up. I got real mad, and my wife, she said, you need to listen to them. Listen to her. And uh, so I got on the internet, and uh, and I was going to, you know, I didn't I didn't get brought into this step by step, I, like some people said. I, this hit me all at once. So. The first thing I looked at the uh, the tower fall, and so I saw that 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 thing on the top in the middle, a little shack in the middle, fall first, and I, I I replayed that over for like an hour, two hours, and I sit there and cry for two hours straight. Well, I was uh, working in Dallas in January of 2008 with my dual screen monitor there in my own little space there, and I was looking for a preaching sermon, and I'd never heard of YouTube before, so I Google sermons, I watch it, and I can find comes up YouTube. Then at the bottom, I see related videos. And I'm like, what's this about Bush now? I said, oh, it's another Bush hater. I can smack about Bush. So I went and watched the clip, and my jaw just dropped. I saw the Billies come down in 6.5 seconds and 10 seconds free fall speed. And I took physics in college and know a little bit about free fall speed. And I'm like, wow. And then I went and watched the one about how the ball kicking dogs were taken away and stuff like that. And I saw 9-11 coincidences, and I knew something was up. So I wish I could take my vote back from, uh, you know. But, you know, Emil has a, a face, but then I saw the face. And I was like, wow, and, you know, the Bible talks about it a little bit, but it didn't say who the key players are, and then I saw the key players, and I was just like, we're going away from it. I could not, I could not figure out why we were in Iraq and why we had captured Saddam so quick if Osama bin Laden had attacked us in 9-11. So I always had these questions in the back of my mind, what, why is nobody talking about 9-11? And then Oliver Stone, who, like, made this great movie about JFK and exposed, you know, that there was a big conspiracy made a movie called World Trade Center and he did not mention conspiracy. There was nothing about the terrorists, anything in that movie. And so I started talking to people and my cousin in the security guard where I live said, you didn't know and about 9-11? Well, it was an inside job. And I said, what? 
and I watched Loose Change. And then I found Alex Jones and Prison Planet and Cold Wars. And then I found Ron Paul and here I am today with We Are Changing 2020.